get by It resides between my eyes Walked through the fire Came out better on the other side See lights like a peach If you find the sand And right now I'm feeling like a hundred grand You are listening to Inspired Insider With your host, Dr. Jeremy Wise And I want to also give a big shout out to, to Ian Garlic, host of the Garlic Marketing Show For telling me about Christopher's book um, it's amazing. You got to check it out. It's called Play Bigger, and I'll introduce it in a second. But um, so, if you didn't know already, you are uh, listening to InspiredInsider.com, where I talk with inspirational entrepreneurs and leaders like the founders of P90X, Baby Einstein, Atari, and many more, and how they overcome big challenges in life and business. And our sponsor is Rise25.com, which helps service professionals, doctors, lawyers, accountants, dentists, anyone working with one-on-one -on -one clients. Stop just trading time for dollars and shift from a one-to-one -one client work to one-to-many. So you can go there. There's a, uh, a dream product ladder template that you can use to realize it's plan basically planning your business on one sheet of paper that shows gaps of untapped revenue. Disney uses it, Apple, Sporting Industry, they all use versions of the product ladder. So I have, I'm excited to, to introduce today's guest, Christopher Lockhead, who started his first company at 18. He retired 30 years later. Well, retired is a term he's still working, but doing what he loves to do when he wants and who he wants to do it with. He's a three-time public company CMO, best-selling author, host of Legends and Losers, which uh, he's already mentioned. You should check it out. He's co-founder of Play Bigger Advisors. He served as chief marketing officer of Mercury Interactive, a $1 billion software company that was acquired by Hewlett Packard in 2006 for $4.5 billion. And like I mentioned, he's the co-author with Al Ramadan, Dave Peterson, and Kevin Maney of Play Bigger, How Pirates, Dreamers, and Innovators Create and Dominate Markets. Thank you so much, Chris, for doing this. Thanks, Jeremy. That The introduction is going to make my mom real happy. Thank we'll you. Send it That's to very, her. very yeah. kind of you. <laughs> talk about, you know, you're big in philanthropy and one life. I want you to talk a little bit about that and your involvement with that. Thank you. Um, so onelifefullylive.org is a uh, organization founded by my dear friend Tim Rode, and he's a uh, former realtor and now real estate investor who has a huge commitment to giving back. And, um, you know, right now my favorite quote about all this is the, um, the Kevin Spacey quote, Jeremy, where he says, uh, if you're lucky enough to make it to the top of the building, you should send the elevator back down. Mm. And I think... Those of us who are uh, entrepreneurial and, and Tim, like me, is a small e entrepreneur, started with nothing, had no reason for anybody to believe in him and and, and started painting uh, um, uh, uh, street numbers for people on the sidewalk, you know, and, and built 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 himself up from there. So uh, what One Life is about is we're a nonprofit committed to helping people dream, plan and live their best life. And, and to give people the tools, technologies, and relationships to do that for as close to free as possible. So think about motivational and inspirational and personal development shit. Uh, think about uh, financial planning, both on the personal side and on the, on the business side. And then think about either being an entrepreneur or being entrepreneurial in one way or another in your life. You know, so if you sort of think about those dimensions, right? From, from as simple as how do, you, how do you balance a checkbook for kids to uh, how do you understand when, when once you get past that on the financial side, how do you play good offense and defense? A lot of people just play offense. They don't get the defense part. So we want to do some base financial planning because the average American is three paychecks away from personal bankruptcy. Yeah. And the average yeah. American is two, uh, two personal crises or crisis. If that's the plural. <laughs> Uh, away from uh, personal bankruptcy. You have a big healthcare problem and you lose your job and you're fucked. It's over, yeah. Yeah, and so none of that is okay with us. And so we want to help people understand the things that they, they can do in their financial life uh, to make a difference in that regard. And, and, and then on the personal side, um, like we talked about earlier, you know, there are a lot of people who don't even realize you, you can design your own life. Life isn't what happens to you. Life is what you happen to. Um, and the minute you understand you can design your own life, then the next logical question is, okay, well, how? <laughs> and so right. we have a curriculum at One Life that shows you how. 
Um, and then, and then we want to, we want to, we want to spawn more entrepreneurs and we want to stoke more, uh, more existing entrepreneurs. Um, and you know, some of those entrepreneurs are biggie entrepreneurs, but a lot of them are smally entrepreneurs. Uh, we're starting to do a lot of one life work in the inner cities. Um, and, and so we're trying to go to the places where people need it the most. And, and, and the message is really simple. You can design plan and, and, and live out your best life. And we're here to help you. And we're here to try to do that for as close to free as possible with a collection of big hearted, committed people who want to do that with you. Yeah. Chris, I want to be the first one to thank you. This has been amazing. I want to, uh, I have one last question, but I want to point people towards where they should find out more. And you have a couple of probably places. Where should we point people towards online? The best place, and it's the place where you can get to all the other places if you care to go to any of the other ones, is yeah. just legendsandlosers.com. Okay, cool. And you can you know learn more about Play Bigger there. You can check out you know um, all of the episodes of Legends and Losers. And if you want to find me on Twitter and LinkedIn and all those other places, you, all that hangs off of legendsandlosers.com. Awesome. Everyone check out legendsandlosers.com. Last question, Chris, and for I'm sorry for people just listening to audio, but um, I like to know what inspires you, and I'd love to have you just talk a little bit about everything, the cool, inspiring stuff you have behind you in your office for a second. Yeah, well, th thanks for noticing. Uh, you know, when we started Legends and Losers, Jeremy, I, I, we wanted to have a video podcast because, you know, why not? <clears throat> And of course, you know, our show, like I'm guessing your show, is mostly people listening on a on a a device where they don't see us. But but video is easy and free, and so just boom, there it is. Um and, and so we wanted to have you know an interesting background. But more importantly, to your point, where we live and where we work matters. Our environment matters. I just saw today, I was stoked to find out just this morning, National Geographic, I guess yesterday maybe, came out with a list of the happiest cities in the United States. Hmm. And Santa Cruz is number two. Wow. And so, and since I've lived here, it, it's really struck me like, you know, the environment you're in, I know this sounds stupid, like a duh, but it really, really matters. And so, long story longer, I uh, wanted to create an environment uh, to, to do Legends and Losers, you know, number one rule at Legends and Losers is Legends and Losers is fun. Right. And so we wanted to create a, a studio that was a good functional studio and that had lots of inspiring shit around so that like every time you walked into the studio, you're reminded of things that are legendary. <laughs> right, right, yeah. So what's around you? Oh, so you want me to yeah. walk you through? Yeah, yeah. So, um, uh, and you know, I could take I could take the camera off and give you a full tour if you if you want. Um, so we have a couple of guitars. We have um, um, we have a Hagstrom guitar, which is what my uncle played. It's also what Elvis and the Beatles played. And um, Pat Smear from the Foo Fighters is probably the most famous Hagstrom player today. Uh, and that's the red one. Next to that, the white one is a white custom Les Paul and. You know, I was a kid that didn't grow up with very much money at all, and, and uh, it was never even in my realm of possibility to think that one could own such a piece of uh, mm. uh, musical equipment. But, um, you know, there, there she is, and I, I think it's the greatest guitar in the world. You want to hear rock and roll, you put a custom Les Paul through a Marshall tube amp, and, and that's what Slash sounds like, and that's what Jimmy Page sounds like, and that's what the Ramones sound like, and that's what fucking rock and roll is. Mm. Um and then there's a sign over there. I don't know. Let me see if I can. can't see it now. Uh, okay, I don't know yeah. if you can see yeah, that. Yeah, you there's can see sign, it. Uh, there that my wife got me that I think is really funny uh, that says, I'm not saying I'm Batman. I'm just saying no one has ever seen me and Batman in a room together. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, that's a, this is a picture of Steve McQueen in his um, uh, Shelby Cobra Mustang pulling out backwards. And A, Steve McQueen might be the coolest guy of all time. B, Shelby Cobras are the coolest car of all time. And C, I like things that are different, Jeremy. Right. And so most people, if you're going to put up a picture of like a muscle car or somebody doing something cool in a car, they're going forward. What I love about this, this is from the streets of San Francisco. Oh, no, excuse me. This is from Bullet. And he's pulling out backwards at 80 miles an hour. You can see the tire mm. smoking. So that's cool. Uh, above him, we have uh, one of my 
huge heroes, Leonard Cohen, God rest his soul, and his amazing his amazing album, Songs of Love and Hate. Next to Leonard, we got Batman and Robin from the original 60s TV series. Mm. And they're going up. Is that Adam going, Is Adam West play Batman fuck, in there? Yeah, fuck yeah. Adam, Adam West and Burt Ward. Let me get this one for you. And you can see they're climbing up. A wall. If you remember the series, you would have these 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 photos of them with mm, with the bat rope going nice. up the side of the wall. Nice. And this is a this photo shows you how they shot those, That's and they awesome. have this the string attached to the cape to make it look like they're actually climbing up a wall. And it's very corny and very quiche, <laughs> or, or very kitschy rather. And then um, this is Tom Waits, the legendary Tom Waits, um, probably the greatest songwriter of all time. Above him is the Ramones. Next to him is, is Muhammad Ali. And I love this picture because um, most people, if they have a picture of Muhammad Ali or any kind of a fighter, the fighter is doing the hitting. It's hitting someone, or, right. Or doing the winning. What I love about this shot is he's, he's slipping the punch. Right. Because the first thing you learn when you start to train boxing or martial arts is there's two parts of this. There's hitting and not getting hit. And the not getting hit part is actually more important than the hitting part. Right. Uh, and then Floyd, Wh- Floyd Mayweather, hence, right? Yeah, I mean it's it's boring to watch if you're not a fighter, Floyd. And I, as a fan, I don't love watching Floyd fight. Were you rooting? Who did you think was going to win that one, Conor McGregor? I thought McGregor was going to. Oh, excuse me. I thought Floyd was going to win. Yeah. I mean, uh, I would have been shocked had McGregor won. But uh, I would be less than candid, Jeremy, if I didn't tell you I was really rooting for McGregor. Right. I mean, I didn't think it was going to happen, and I thought McGregor did incredibly well. I mean, you know, when you go eleven rounds against the greatest boxer of this era. Um, and you hit him more times than Manny, Manny Pacquiao did, you had a good night, yep. you know? For sure. So I think I think McGregor was, was awesome. Um, that's London Calling, the Clash. Obviously, the, uh, a vintage flag of California. Now, I, to me, the flag of California is so um, powerful and mm-hmm. sad because, of course, the California uh, brown bear is virtually extinct. Mm-hmm. And so it's a it's an incredible thing that our icon is this animal that we fucking killed. Hmm. It's very it's it, it, it you know, it, and today there are some we could repopulate the Sierras with them, but um, it, 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 it would make uh, it would make the uh, summers on in, in Lake Tahoe very exciting for people. Um, but I digress. And then this amazing surfboard right here. Uh, I can't see that on the camera. It's, uh, I'm going to make you move the camera again. Yeah, there we go. So this is a custom surfboard that uh, my dear friend, the legendary Tasmanian devil of Australian marketing, uh, Von O'Connor, uh, he runs he runs what a lot of people consider to be sort of the preeminent kind of high end marketing boutique in, in in Australia, and he's a wicked surfer, and um, and so he got me. He knows the Ramones are my favorite band, and so he got me this custom board, which is gorgeous. With this amazing, this is actually a custom paint job, and so wow. that's uh, that's Joey Ramone uh, on the bottom of the board. Yeah, Love so it. that's a, sl- a small tour, and there's other shit around here. My my friend Scott Lowry, the boards are on the other side of the studio, hard to show you, but um, he he also got me a custom board from Robert Robert August, and he had the Legends and Losers, Losers logo put on the mm. board, and cool. it's absolutely gorgeous. So we have two two official surfboards in the legends and wizard studio and we got over there we got godzilla and uh steve austin the six million dollar man and and then my favorite my favorite um um uh, license plate which says if it's tourist season why can't we shoot them <laughs> <laughs> i won't be going to california near you though <laughs> Well, it's just, and I, you know, I don't mean it that that horribly, but um, <laughs> it's funny living in a in a beach town, right? Because the town swells yeah. up weekend and right. it swells up in the summer, and um, for sure, it, it gets irritating quickly. It's like, okay, well, thanks for coming and spending your money in Santa Cruz. Now, would you please get the fuck out? <laughs> <laughs> Chris, thank you. This has been fantastic. Everyone should check out legendsandlosers.com. Much appreciated. Thank you, Jeremy. The pleasure's been all mine. What I got, you can't buy. It resides between my eyes. Walked through the fire, came out better on the other side. See, like
like a peach if you find the sand And right now I'm feeling like a hundred grand